Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Doge. Doge has actually not moved much since yesterday or rather not at all. Um, the overall idea is still that we could be working on here what would be best interpreted as a possible five wave move up in circle one in yellow, yeah, that we completed waves one and two. Um, the third wave might be done, might be done. Um, possibly we get another upside extension. Yes, we pushed already above the recent high, but that rally was only in three waves. But if we get one more high, I would actually formally call it um, the you know a third wave. Well, the only difference it would make is I would have to adjust the support area higher because the, th the support area for the wave four, and this is not yet the wave four in my view, um, the support area for the wave four would have to be measured against the length of the third wave, right? So at the moment I call it a high B wave here within an already unfolding fourth wave. Not very happy with that, but that's at the moment what I just have. So I leave a bit more space for any pullback. Um, but yeah, one more high would give us actually a five wave pattern, right? And what does that mean? So again, one, two, three, we still need a healthy wave four and then one more high in wave five. So it's still like to see overall higher prices. Um, and the price could then reach one or two FIP levels higher in that fifth wave. So possibly 22 cents, 23 cents, 24 cents before then wave two starts in the pullback and then we could rally from there. So bottom line is the price reacted to the to the support base here, rallied. I think, you know, it's very much overstretched, but I would not try to be short here. Yeah, I mean, there's no short trade setup. Um, the only question is how deep of a pullback are we gonna get, right? But that doesn't mean it's it's a, it's a you know, a, a short trade setup as such. Or rather, I'm watching for the potential of one more upside extension and we're still holding micro support. So let me delete the resistance area. What I communicated yesterday is that as long as we're holding above that 17.6 cent level, I could see possibly one more high in wave three. Um, that would mean in here we have possibly, and this is a bit difficult to count, but maybe a one, two, three, four, five, but I need, I need one more high to really call it a five wave pattern. And then I can label it as an extension of wave three. So this third wave will just move one higher. Yeah. One step higher. Again, it, the only impact it will have is on the support area for the next pullback, which will then be adjusted at the moment as the yellow wave count shows, this can easily be called an ABC structure to the upside. Yeah. A, B, C, but one more high gives me a five wave move in a diagonal pattern. And again, the support is uh, 17.6 cents. I mean, if this is a diagonal, technically I would have to give it space a little bit, a little bit more space, but um, actually it would be, okay, we have support here and then I'm activating the six, the 61.8 retracement. Uh, then we talk about the same level, pretty much like 17.5 cents. And if I adjust it a little more, it's the same level really. Yeah. Um, but the difference is obviously for a, for a diagonal, we want to activate the golden ratio level, but it would be a very deep wave for. So, I mean, the lower we go, you know, the higher the probability that we have actually already topped, but the pullback is so far corrective. So like on the Bitcoin chart, I'm definitely keeping the door open for one more upside extension. And then, I mean, micro support is very clear around 17 and a half cents there. Any break below it would indicate that we are already starting that, or that we have started rather the C wave of wave four. Again, I would not try to be short here. Um, rather, pullbacks could be opportunities, especially if it's a pullback in wave C or four. But then I'm not convinced yet that it actually started because the market is still holding the upper micro support, which allows for one more extension higher, um, which then, you know, ideally would, would um, lead to the start of wave four if we get one more high. And the next upside levels to watch here are if we go to the daily chart, actually you see that 23 cents is the next one that was already reached before here in April. Yeah, this is also structural resistance. And then even 27.2, which I don't necessarily assume that the actual, the current micro third wave will, will get there. But yeah, I mean, the next level I could definitely see here 23 cents. Maybe we go higher, yeah, but Again, that's why we're tracking support along the way. But this is a structure so far, only overall three waves up. I'd like to see a four, five pattern to complete circle one, and then circle two could be a pullback setup, and then circle three should be quite aggressive. That's the update about Doge. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, 
and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.